Well, there is a car right there, 100%. Just went over it again. It's right there. It's eight feet. These cars would never have been found unless this thing got like drained. Yeah. Because no one comes out here sonar. Kind of looks like a Cadillac, but not the one we're looking for. Oh, yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> Today we traveled to Montgomery, Alabama to search for missing person Jimmy Lee Green. Missing since January 2004, so it's been a long time. Now this is a case that we weren't exactly planning to do. Another case nearby fell through and we found this one. And I did call the uh, local police department and detectives trying to get some information on whether he was still missing. And they said it was so old that uh, it, there was no records. I'm not 100% sure if he was still missing today, but we're going to search anyways. And what was he driving? In a dark blue 89 Cadillac. Yeah. One of the little triangle windows, I think, on the back door or back window, Tom, was busted out. So, uh, I mean, that's another way to identify the car if we yeah. do find it. Well, we're going to search the main river, but the address I found uh, that I believe to be his was right near this park. And there is, this is the closest body of water. And it's a pretty big sized pond. There is a boat ramp, but it's gated off. I don't know if the gate was there back in two, 2004. You said there was a boat ramp here too, wasn't there? Well, there's that ramp right there. Well, I mean, 2004, I wonder if you could actually put boats out here. That's what I'm wondering. Like easier yeah. access. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you can kayak. But we're going to be checking the main river, but first we're going to check this. I have my remote control sonar boat. It gives us a real time image of what we're seeing. So we're going to scan around here, see if there's any cars. If there are, we're going to dive on those. And, uh, you know, hopefully we find some more information about Jimmy's disappearance. All right, already it's seven feet. Dang, it drops right off. Ten feet right there. Could be. It's smashed all the hell. Oh, there's a car right there. 100%. Oh my goodness gracious. That, actually, does that, that is a car up now. Dang, it smokes. That's a car car. I don't know what that other thing is. What kind of car was he driving? He's driving a, a Cadillac. That kind of looks like the right shape, dude. It does. I think there's two. I think there was two. But... Well, I just went over it again. It's right there. It's eight feet. If that would have went down then. You know, that could be him. I mean, he lived right nearby. You'll see, you'll see it. It's 100% a car. And it actually kind of looks like the right shape. I mean, it's right off the boat ramp. It's right there, Jeremy. It's right where the boat is. Right there? Yeah. Is that the car? Yeah. What about the other one? I think that's over here. I think that this might be another one right here. Kind of look like it, but that one looked like it looked, big. It looked like a, yeah, like a van or something. Yeah, it had the right shape. I'm I'm not even gonna lie. I have a oh, what's a car? A, a boxy Cadillac. Mm -hmm. And this is right. This is probably minutes from the dude's house. Well, now you know your sonar boat works. Found oh, this is my first car. I yeah, the first the sonar car. boat. Oh, another car. Another, another car right there. Way over there. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to walk around this whole thing with this. I didn't think they'd be able to, I mean. That one looks kind of. Kind of looks like a, a SUV or a van. Yeah. Set, well, it might be the, it's definitely second. It might be three out here now. Um, I thought I saw something else farther, but I'm losing video signal. So we're gonna have to. Uh, Walk over on the other side. Yeah. It looks like a hood. Oh, it might be the hood. It looks like the hood fell off. That's oh, kind of weird. Uh, what it is. Curious what this other one was. I'd be willing to bet. Like, there's that. There, oh yeah. That's got to be a car. She's big. It's something. It looks sideways. I bet mean, it's a car, but I think it's like that. So there's two. Oh, well, that's number three. They're all like eight, ten feet. 
We need to like mark flags or something on the side. These cars would never have been found unless this thing got like drained. Yeah. Because no one comes out here with sonar. No. Well, eight feet, I can, I mean, I'm six feet. What I'm saying is like, you could just swim on the top and like snorkel your way and just look straight down. Probably be able to see the car in the sunlight. Probably. At least, at least definitely be able to see this. This would be super easy to find. So the one in question is right across from this pipe. Remember that? Right here is where you told me to. Yeah. Right there. It's not very far out, dude. It's, it is kind of... It's kind of murky clear. Yeah, it's but, mossy. So it's not clear clear, but... But let's take a little walk around. Since well, I did fi find one over there. Because look, you could, you could just... You can see it's a flat top going around. There's no bed. That's... that's if that'd be my guess. It looks like an SUV or, or a small, like a... Like a Jeep Liberty or Pilot. Mm. I guess that gate is open sometimes. Where he drove around over... Over the... Or wasn't there. Depends how old this thing is. Let's try to get a better shot. We're gonna scan the other side, but it's just out of range, so we're gonna. Jeremy's gonna drive me over there. can't see it. I want to make sure it's... That'd be oh, weird. It's a one foot. Oh my goodness. Super shallow on this side. Well, I just wanted to make sure, you know. Check everywhere. Yup. But it's not looking good on this side. Alright, we just scanned this whole thing pretty good. So basically, there's a car straight up from that pipe, the one where that matches the description. Jimmy's. Something else here. Something else there. And then way down there. It's, uh, looks like an SUV or a Cherokee. Of like, I guess, a lift? Like a small one that goes on the truck? Which tells me... Ooh. It's buried. I think that's what it is. I don't know, it's in there really good. There's the ball hitch right there. All right, I'm all suited up now, about to get down there and dive. For the past year, I started several GoFundMes and they're all to get new equipment, to be able to do our jobs better and be safer. And we finally were able to raise enough on one of the GoFundMes and uh, to get underwater communication. So check this out. We actually have a box we can put this transducer in and hook it up and we have a speaker we can actually talk to each other underwater. Now, this is a uh, very shallow dive, so it's really not necessary, but it's still a couple feet, you won't be able to see me, so. Well, I mean, you, it's more than that. It's like, if you, you can dive it, you'll be able to tell me exactly what you're seeing, read the tag off, yeah. windows up, all that stuff. Yeah, instantly. You know, so. And I'll just let y'all know, you know, quick as quick as we know, y'all will be able to see it on this video. So, even for live streams, we can do that too. Really just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that's donated and just show you some of the equipment that we've purchased with y'all's funds because that stuff's not expensive but it's very useful to stay safe and we have some other gofundmes too if you want to help support us even further man i look like a hot mess beautiful right where that rock is is barely sticking up so if you keep going backwards you should run right into it
what was part of the vehicle. I can't find the most of the vehicle. It was broken in the old room. I can't just go back to the place where I want to play. I don't think there is. I mean, it's old. It's rusty and like Swiss cheesy, but it's blue. It's pretty bright. What is the uh, are the tail lights like horizontal, like rectangles? Let me show you a picture. Yeah, let me see this thing. Where would the plate be? Because it feels like there's not a spot for it. It'd be right, uh, right in the center. Is that a really chromey bumper? That's what this has. Chromey. The hood's around here somewhere. I'll go down again. So the hood's missing. Yeah. The grill looks like something you could rip off. It might be metal though. Uh, I mean, it's blue, but I don't know for sure if it's our car. Oh, okay. Of course, they could, they could have given the wrong information. 2004. I mean, if, it, if we could confirm it. They, a, color is, a color is easy to tell. Oh, yeah, it's blue. But. Uh, what we got here? That's from the rear? Or is that a front window? I think that's a front. Okay. Pa the, the passenger front. Okay, so what were you saying about the the rear little window? They're all triangles. So the, there's a rear window. Is that what you're saying? That's little. Behind yeah, the big like window. it's a triangle like that, I think. And that's up the front. That's not the right type, right? For real? There's no plate, but it's gone and rusted. But it's blue, and it's a similar shape. Older bro hams have a triangle. Andrew Dearman, we're talking like 60s. This thing's old. Show me a picture of an old one. Does it have a, I mean. You need to go back for more parts. <laughs> so it's it's literally right there, I mean. See if that shape looks like the right shape. That. That's a weird, that's a weird look. It's old. It doesn't look like no 89. It looks older than that. But it's blue, man. It's like, it's like pent blue. They might be wrong, dude. Cause like, well, here's a 68. The bumpers, it's like. And the windows are triangle. Front the grill doesn't look accurate, but. Any hubcaps or they all just steel wheels? It's got or, like. It's got like lines down the side. It says American Racing. Oh, piss. Those are. I don't know. We still don't know what it is. Well, Those are aftermarket wheels on it. Real life are like that thing. I don't think that's the car we're looking for then. How much air you got left? Huh? Twenty-two Wanna go get these uh, the other two? Yeah. We'll come back to this. I don't I don't as much as I want it to be, I don't I don't know. The way you're describing it, it's not it's not that Cadillac. Kinda looks like a Cadillac, but not the one we're looking for. Unless uh, they had they had the I don't know. Maybe we could look at different models like DeVille or something. But I mean, it's... The, the trunk is closed and the lock is like twisted broken. 
Hmm. Maybe. All right, I'm gonna pile this up right here. Go grab another battery. We got two more cars right here we're gonna dive on. Where's the other one over here? I mean, it's, I'm right, it's right, straight that way. Usually we're not very good at that part, just swimming out and fighting it, so that's good. Let's see here. Hmm. That's a. It seems like it's a new, newer one. I don't know how a new one got out here. All right. All right. We'll set this here. That'll be that one. And one more. <clears throat> All right, we're set up for the third car right here. Just going down the line, diving them. This is that one that we saw first. We don't have no idea what this thing looked like. It looks weird underwater, so. Could be a new car, a newer one, but oh, we just found a sign. No parking? Oh, yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> Neat. Yeah. So it is a car?
So what'd you find? It was a Hyundai. I guess minivan of some sort. All the weird thing is all the uh, doors and the back hatch were open. Except for the driver's door was closed. Was it a sliding door or like actual, just normal open, door? Open, open. So I don't know if it's a minivan. It's not a minivan. They have weird hybrid minivan things, but... I looked at my... How old do you think it is? Pretty old? Not old? Uh, I don't think it's super old. The tags really ain't showing that they're that old. I mean, they that's, must, that's a new they must. They might not close that gate off at night. You know? People just drive them in here. <laughs> So we can go ahead and call, and then if they're wanting to pull them out, we can. I mean, I, I haven't dove the other one, but I think it's an SUV of some sort. It is. It's some kind of SUV. Well, we need. To, let's go ahead and call the cops, and then um, let them know. They might, if they want to go ahead and start pulling, we can dive that one. Just let them know. I'm gonna see if I have enough air. I'm running low. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if you could send a police officer to my location. We're at the Gateway Park. And what's wrong? Uh, well, what, essentially we found four vehicles in the lake. Uh, it's kind of what we do for a living. And we wanted to report them and make sure you guys were aware that they were out there. So we didn't leave them, you know, because they could be linked to a crime or whatnot. You said four vehicles in the lake? Yes. Now they weren't they're not fresh they didn't just crash they, they've been there a little while but we do have tanks we or tags we scuba dived them and got information on the vehicles okay. all right so uh, we just gave the cops a call we talked to some of the locals who informed us that the the fire department's out here i guess doing training sounds like yeah they might know about these. so they might know about <laughs> all of them maybe they don't know about some of them maybe i mean there's the fact that there's tags on them means to me that they haven't found them or if they wanted to use it for train that white one was weird because all the doors are open that almost looks like it was done that way on purpose i've never seen one maybe that's a tr maybe there's that, that might have training. been a training i don't know but these other ones i don't know i mean it's uh we'll see we'll ask them and try to get some more information it is weird that the tags on them you know i mean if it's like a if they're training vehicles they should be stripped down if they're training vehicles probably that's the that's what you would think do they do it no unless they knew about them and then got the tag number and just didn't take the tag off. Maybe. But, I don't know. But either way, we'll report them. They'll either get mad at us or they won't. Yeah, that's us. We's over there on the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> do you want to drive over there? We show you where they're at, or you just want to run the tags, or what do you want to do? Yeah, we'll run the tags. We'll go right over there. Do you like scuba diving, or you just. Yeah, we, we was running the sonar in the lake with a little RC boat, uh -huh. and we found uh, four cars, and these two had tags on them. And the other one was really old. We couldn't have a tag on it. Is that a car still down there? Yes. Either one of them Really? Because this, let me see. This was an Expedition. Now it's a Hyundai. Is that what it came back to? Yeah. What was the Hyundai, the model of it? Uh, six. What was the model? Did it say oh, I got Santa Fe. Santa Fe. It was a Santa Fe. Yeah, yeah. I knew that it was. Okay. It's got the sun. It's got the sun. It's got this, I didn't know what the hell that means. Santa Fe. Santa Fe. Yeah, the third car is old. We thought it might be a Cadillac, but we have no idea what the hell it is. The uh, JD B1 Ford Expedition. Yeah. 98. Yeah, he could stand on top of it out in the rig, yeah. in, the, in the lake. Uh, uh, do you want me to show you guys where they're at? Yeah, I, I, I thought. Okay. <clears throat> well, they came back on file. Really? But they didn't come back to anything. No, they're not stolen, so. So it's like insurance, maybe? Could be. Abandoned. I don't know. That's so weird when a car comes back. Like, oh, I don't know. I mean, I was like, well, somebody owned it. You can't figure out who the hell owned it before. You know, drop it on the doorstep. The die. I mean, what's up with the fire department? That's a good. I don't know about them. They probably. I don't know. They probably don't communicate as well as you'd think. Probably not. Like the dive team probably knows all about these. Yeah. Or at least one of them. So you said it was one by the trash can, ten feet out. Yeah, it's pretty straight out. Um, 
and then the other one's like what right here I'm about 20 feet out pretty much right here straight out and right there and then same thing yeah that's the hyundai this is the expedition it's the whole rusty car and, and there's one more yeah i didn't see anything inside of that i i looked next to felt, zero visibility right? yeah it wasn't great visibility but the, yeah. most they're they all had windows open or broken or doors open yeah all the doors were open on the hyundai. i mean i I, yeah. I did my best to feel inside i didn't feel any these remains. guys said that they've seen fire department out here diving like looks like they might be training so i don't know if the dive team knows about one or more oh, okay. of these but yeah i'd be curious to talk to the dive captain or something and there's one more straight across there in that little last opening it's a ways and we didn't we didn't check that one out just because we ran out of time but i was just on the phone with sergeant telling him about what's going on yeah i appreciate y'all that's that's pretty cool though and we usually we actually so we do the youtube thing right yeah we have another channel uh that we have our own record and we find cars like this all the time and when like and when these pop up like the cops are like well we, we can't they can't find anything on them so they're like yeah. whatever so we we pull them out ourselves and then we get the tow truck so it's it's fun but we i don't think we can get a tow truck in here without well yeah this is, i mean this is a, <laughs> it's a public park right yeah these cars probably got done before they built this fence around it though you think they said they closed this up in I, I mean you could drive through right here and go i mean if you're committed if you if you're committed yeah because the expedition's all smashed on the front it looks like they hit the water pretty hard mm. but this is the one we're interested in because there's a missing person like five minutes from here and it kind of matches the description of his car but mm. it doesn't but it's 2004 so maybe they got it wrong but it's the right color so it's kind of i don't know we were, th we were trying to figure out if it'd be if we'd be allowed to pull that one out with our wrecker because it's a boat ramp yeah we, right. we appreciate y'all coming out and no, thank you. following up got finished talking with the officers they ran through the tags said no crimes nothing uh i mean they came back on file not but stolen. not linked to anything so it's just like abandoned cars almost and, and you know and hopefully we get some word from the fire department of the dive team it sounds like they do come out here they probably know about one or maybe some or all maybe all i don't know but those are the answers we want to try to find but we also you know just want to we want to be able to clean these up too it'd be nice yeah that's what we do i'm sure they like wouldn't want that if they do train we probably make a mess with the old one but these two would come out no yeah problem. That, that, i mean the old one is the wild card here because it is so close to his house potentially you know it's like three five minutes and uh it sort of matches the description in the year mm -hmm. but it's not a cadillac we know it's not a cadillac i don't know quite what it is uh maybe y'all car guys might know by watching the video hopefully we have found out and i can put it right here nah Nah, that's not how it works. But we're going to do some more research, try to get in touch with the family members, uh, some relatives online, do some research there. Maybe they got the car description wrong. Maybe they had a picture of his car. And uh, That'd be we, can, nice. we can come back and dive this again and maybe solve this mystery. Right. But we appreciate y'all watching and supporting our search efforts as always. We ran out of time here in Montgomery, but we'll be back because there's so many more spots to check. And we this is the literally the first spot. And we found four cars. So I think there's going to be a lot more. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. We'll see you all in the next one.